Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So, with the clamps removed, now I can continue working on the top. In the next step will be off camera, I will face it down to the thickness because at the, at the moment is around 9 mil the top and I want the top around 6 mil. Then, and then we can we can have a look at some tool pads on the Fusion, and we can continue with machining the contour of the top. We can go down to the to the body blank, uh, neck pocket, pick up pockets, the recess of the tunomatic, and the control cavity. So let's go on the Fusion. And have a look at them. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's have a look at a couple of tool pads for today's episode. First of all, I want to clear some material for the neck pocket with the 15 millimeter bit, continuing to removing more material, and then with the same bit doing the recess for the control plate. After that, we can switch to the 8mm router cutter and we can do the tunomatic pocket uh, recess and the humbuckers pockets. And then finishing up the control cavity contour for the top. After finishing up with the 8mm router cutter, I can swap for the 8mm spiral down cutter and then finishing up the tunomatic recess, the humbucker contours, the top plate recess and the control cavity recess for the top.
Finishing up with that tool, the contour of the guitar blank. Cavities are all nice and sharp. Again, I love that spiral down cut. It really, it really makes a nice finish, especially on the top surface. Uh, even the contour is finished, although it didn't went through because the mahogany blank is still a bit thicker. So I need to remove a couple of mil. The CNC. Everything looks where it should be. Just to give you an example of this recess, the bridge will sit inside like that, and I can lower the action so I don't need to angle the neck. I, I really like this, this configuration. I don't know, there is something sexy about it. Um, I think that's it for today. In the next episode, probably, well, probably, I will deal with the back. Uh, face down the remaining material and machine the recess for the neck. For the, for the neck heel and the neck bolts with the recess of the ferrules as well. That will be the next episode. The string ferrules. Oh yeah, speaking of ferrules, I forgot to machine the top ones. But I can easily do it on the next episode as well. Just to be, just to don't, because I still need to generate the toolpaths for this. So that's it, guys, for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, like, subscribe, and I see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.